Hi, I'm Kuba and today I will talk about Delta Lake, how it works and how to use it with Rust. Delta Lake is an open source storage framework for building lake house architectures on top of data lakes. Additionally, it brings reliability to data lakes with features like ACID transactions, scalable metadata handling, schema enforcement, time travel, and many more. Delta Lake can be used with compute engines like Spark, Flink, Presto, Trino, and Hive. It also has API for Scala, Java, Rust, Ruby, and Python. Delta Lake keeps the data in Parquet files, which is an open source column oriented file format. Additionally, it writes the metadata in the transaction log JSON files containing information about all performed operations. The transaction log is stored in the delta log subdirectory. For example, every data write will create a new parquet file. After that, a new transaction log file will be created, which finishes the transaction. On the other hand, when we read data from delta leg, the first stage, transaction files are read, and then, according to the transaction data, appropriate parquet files are loaded. Thanks to this mechanism, the Delta Lake guarantees ACID transactions. Update and delete operations will be conducted in similar way. There are several Delta Lake integrations, and one of them is Delta RS Rust library. Currently in Delta RS implementation, we can use multiple storage backends, including local file system, AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Storage Gen 2, and also Google Cloud Storage. To be able to manage multiple tables on multiple stores, I have built Yami Delta server, which exposed REST API. Using API, we can list and create delta tables, inspect their schema, append or override data, and additional operations like optimize or vacuum. Moreover, we can query data using data fusion SQLs. You can simply install Yami Delta as a Python package. Then we need to prepare config file Source credentials are provided through environment variables. And you are ready to run server using command line. Now we are able to perform all operations using the REST API. Query results will be returned as a stream, thus we can process it in batches. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed Yami Delta. You can find the whole code on GitHub. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!